Welcome to ENN On Air, Elon News Network's digital news show giving you the stories of today. I'm Sophia Doty. And I'm Gabrielle Evans. Thank you for tuning in. The American Red Cross reported a nationwide blood supply shortage earlier this year. ENN Charlotte Fabi has more. Heather Frazee still remembers the first time she donated blood. I remember going home and telling my husband, I'm like, I can't believe I waited so long <laughs> because it was not that big of a deal. Frazee says she shares her experience to inspire others to donate blood, especially during the current blood shortage. In July, the American Red Cross reported a 25% decrease in its blood supply. Frazee says the summer is typically a slow time for collection, but this is the lowest the Red Cross has seen in 20 years. Blood can't be manufactured. It can't be stockpiled. Um, so it really is important. The only way we can get that is to have individuals come out to donate. The Red Cross collects a third of its blood supply from drives at high schools and colleges. We, we, we try to do t-shirts, we try to do snacks, we try to do raffles, everything to get the students involved. I mean, just to start as early as you can so we can have the long-term donor. While t-shirts and snacks get people to donate, the Red Cross's app provides a virtual motivation for donors. I like to track where the blood goes because it does let you know that. And so sometimes it's local, sometimes a little far out. So it's nice seeing where it goes and it's put to good use. The American Hospital Association states that only 3% of eligible Americans donate blood each year. Frazee says she wishes more people would understand that donating one bag of blood can help up to three people. The foundation of it is, is that person needed blood for some reason, and it was there when they needed it the most. Charlotte Fobby, ENN Tonight. To learn more about donating blood, call 1-800-RED-CROSS or visit the American Red Cross's website at redcross.org. Lots of students and faculty came to Alumni Gym in celebration of Elon's annual Hispanic Heritage Month's kickoff. ENN's Nia Bedard has more on this event. <laughs> students, faculty, and locals came together to kick off Hispanic Heritage Month. It's definitely, the kickoff is like the, one of the most important events because it's the first one and it's the biggest one. And there's, you know, we planned this ahead of time, a long time ago too. So it's all of our efforts here. Just, just this event alone was weeks and weeks of prep. We had to contact dancers, we had to contact catering and food, and we had to do a lot of cooking. Yeah. Like a lot a of the lot. things that you see were cooked by the student coordinators. Yes. So. Students say that events like this help bring the Latinx and Hispanic community together and educate others about their culture. I think Hispanic Heritage Month is a great opportunity and a great time for us to really, especially since it's towards the start of the year, to really like lay a foundation for who we are, not only as an organization, but as like an Elon community of Latino people, especially because we're at a PWI, so there's not that many of us, but we're still very strong and very connected with one another. It's super important to bring the community together when we can, and events like this facilitate that, as well as integrate towards uh, non-Latinx and Hispanic identifying students, and they learn more about our culture and are more aware of where they are. For more on Hispanic Heritage Month, look out for the pendulum this Wednesday. Nia Bedard, ENN Tonight. Also, this Wednesday night, Jarabe Mexicano will perform in McCrory Theater. The band performs a mix of Mexican folk, rock and roll, Latin rock, and more. Admission is free for those with an Elon ID and $15 for those without one. Tickets can be purchased online at elon-tickets.com. One of the fastest growing sports in America, pickleball, is capturing the attention of Elon students. Our Abigail Hines has the story. Elon's club pickleball has officially started the school year with nearly 300 members signed up to play. First year students say they're excited to continue their hometown hobbies at Elon. And I play pickleball at home with Vincent, and so I was just excited to play my new friends here. It's just something that we did back home. Uh, it's something we get to do. It's a uh, meet people, we'll just go out and fun for a little bit. President of Club Pickleball, Anna Luna Alvarez, says players of all skill levels have joined the team, and she's happy to help beginners learn the basics of the game. That was great. Not bad. And you got it in the square. <laughs> The club is currently focused on improving their skills and learning the game, but Alvarez says she hopes they can form a team in the future. As soon as we get that formed and we get them to know each other and learn each other's strengths and weaknesses, then we can go and become a team. Maybe we'll become like a, a team pickleball rather than a club or we'll have a little bit of both. 
Alvarez says it's about more than what happens on the court. My favorite thing about pickleball is definitely that um, it's a fun sport that you keep, like it keeps you entertained and you can always get better and you, you have the social aspect where you can make a lot of friends and have a nice community around you, but it's also something that you enjoy doing. Club Pickleball has high hopes for the future and may be playing in pickleball tournaments soon. Students interested in joining Club Pickleball can find more information on Phoenix Connect. The Elon Community Church hosted their annual Dog Day Mixer for all to enjoy. Students and locals were greeted with furry friends and lots of food. Tents held vendors serving hot dogs, ice cream, and even a treat for the dogs, a pup cup station. Members of the church said that this might be the biggest turnout they've ever had, and they love keeping close ties with university students. So we like to have as many students as possible join us in various activities. Lentz also said that he enjoys when both the church and students come together because it helps build community. That's all we have for you this evening. Thanks again for watching ENN On Air. For all the news you need to know when we're not on air, visit our website at elonnewsnetwork.com. And follow us on social media at Elon News Network. Have a great night, Elon.